Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play the Greatest Game of All Time, aka Red Dead Redemption. I almost said Resident Evil. So welcome back guys, let's get this thing going. So here we are, the McFarland Ranch where I left off, left you guys off. We were just kind of hanging around, we saw some chickens, saw some people. There's a dude right there. It's not, oh, let's see there's the gun, golden gun. It is now activated game of the year edition how's everybody been it's been uh quite a 24 hours i had to take my guitar back or not back had to take it to the shop because the pots had been worn out overworked guitars i guess that happens too but uh it's been a little pricey about a hundred dollars to fix it but hey i mean it's my baby you know oh poor john Poor John, he's hurt. He got shot in the spleen. But I'll get it back. There's no problem there. So we're going to make our way over to the McFarlane Mansion, so to speak. And we're going to get another cutscene. Cannot get away from these cutscenes. Damn, $15. Sure Come on, man. Here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Back in the saddle again. So this is our first real mission. Getting back in the saddle. I don't know if that's the name of the mission, but that is what we are doing. We're gonna ride this horse right up here. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws. No good for nothing outlaws. <laughs> and there's our war horse. Heck yeah! Look at that thing. Solid black. With white hair. The thing is an angel and it's so fast. Show me around thine property, fair wench. <laughs> and there's the tutorial for how to match the speed. Just hold A and you'll kind of follow. It's kind of weird with the following thing because like, I'm on the left side of her right now. If she goes right, I, I have to kind of Go, move the joystick like that to kind of keep following her. If she goes left, she'll kind of cross into my zone and I'll follow her easier. But I mean, hey, it's it beats trying to keep up with her. Oh, man. Well, here's the corral. Gosh, I wish I could do voiceovers. It does look like a fine corral. Fine, fine corral. Where'd you get such an idea? Where'd you First get such an idea? Hard to that is so true. I decided to put subtitles on. We're gonna make it easier. Oh, speeding up. Finished. Slow down, Bring woman. You're moving too fast. <laughs> First time I've ever said that. <laughs> true that. I always think about, like, if there was a time machine. And someone from today's time, like a kid, or you know, some guy in his twenties, late twenties or something, went back you know, like two hundred years and saw Abraham Lincoln. Like, how would they react? Oh well, that was fast. What a ranch, man! All right, what a first mission! Dang. A lot of action in that one. Might have to cuddle up to Miss Bonnie. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean it. Can I push you down? No, I can kind of bump into. Oh, fall down. Oh my ah! <laughs> That's what you get, woman. Being so slow, you get jumped like that. Okay, come on. Get back to your house, Bonnie. Now. John. Don't do anything stupid. A lot of people on this ranch have my back. <laughs> okay. Okay, come on. Come on. I don't want to screw up the first mission. Let's just go. Okay? Bonnie. Bonnie! Oh, God. First mission. Come on, woman. Come on. You're stuck. You're unstuck. Let's go. Am I really going to have to do something I don't want to do? 
Come on, woman. Oh, this this is aggravating. Oh, oh my God! I gotta hitch the horse. Are you kidding? Should have known. Hitch. No, don't do that. Hitch. There we go. This is like the only time you ever have to hitch a horse. Oh, ooh, all right. So you were actually ahead of me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push you. That was my bad, girl. My bad. I'll give you some love and later. This game is just too wonderful. It was everything. I mean everything when I got it. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other Hondas? Yeah, I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? <laughs> sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. Whoa, some, I get to shoot something? This is a fine weapon. Dude, I'm ready to pop some caps and some cowboys. Come on, let's go. Got the repeater carbine. First rifle. Heck yeah. Now that was a long rest between you and me and everyone else that's here. That was a long rest, John. You just sat there in a chair for like seven hours. What a lazy man you've become. Alright, so this mission, well, same mission kind of, but introduces the shooting aspect of the game, which is pretty well done. In multiplayer, you kind of you can see the dot there, you see a white dot. In multiplayer, there's a circle around the dot, but in single player, the bullet goes right where the dot is. They couldn't do that in multiplayer because obviously games would go too fast and people would just be too accurate. So they had to get a like a hit area, not like a hit point. I see no rustlers, Mrs. McFarland. Rabbit! Those waskawee wabbits. They are going to die. Where are they? One. Two. Oh, I missed. Three. Four. Four. Where's the fourth one? Oh. Four. Four. And the other two? <gasps> Can't get away from me. Got him. I'm sure there's a way to switch targets in this game. Using the D-pad or something like that, but I just prefer to, like, when you scope in, you get like I don't know, like five seconds that you're, you know, you're on the target, like John is following the target, and then it just goes to free aim kind of again. But uh, I just kind of tap L like that, and it works just fine. Oh. A lady of leisure. Lady of leisure. Is that a coyote? Get those coyote! Oh my goodness! Don't you kill that roadrunner. Oh, oh, go too fast, John! Stop jumping! Dead. Oh, I missed it. Oh my... Stop, Marty! Dude, why is there so many cows? I almost said cows. What the heck? One headshot. Right in the freaking face. Where's the other one? There it is. Oh, oh, he got the chicken! Chickens. Oh, I see you. Nope, nope, don't you. Nope. Oh, poor chickens. Poor chicken. Oh, oh. Oh, you can't do the thingy yet? Aww. I don't know how I'm gonna. As far as side mission goes, like for breaking up in this, I don't know what I'm gonna do for that, but we'll figure something out. It's too early to think about that right now. Nine minutes. Cool. I think I'll play for get two videos about thirty minutes. I appreciate that, Mr. McFarland. You so kind to pay me or pay the doctor fifteen dollar dollar bill. Oh. No! What? No! Horsey! <laughs> hitched. You are hitched. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Oh, me too. Sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, 
Now, how early are we talking about? Like, in the middle of the night, morning, or, <laughs> you know, sex? If you sleep, you will wake up six hours later. Just, you know, like every other Grand Theft Auto game, or Rockstar made game. Sleeping saves the game and advances the time six hours. Just in case you haven't played G any of the GTAs. Which I'm sure if you're Oh, now here's the... That was my file from the first time I played it. That's my file from the last time I played it. So I guess we're going to save over the last time. Because for some reason I have a lot of sentimental value on the first playthrough of this game. So that's the first mission. Here's the general store. It's dark, or it's nighttime, obviously. The moon's out. It's nighttime. This is the general store. It's not open. And like Bonnie said, there's the jail and the barn and everything else. But all we really need to care about is the general store right now. Well, not right now, but when it becomes available to partake a business in is when we take interest in thine general store. We're going to start the next mission, which is called Obstacles in Our Path. How do you think? I just got shot. Well, Miss McFarland, thank you. How are you? Well, that I'm works fine. too. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Uh, <laughs> a little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williams. Well, it's sort of a long story. No, Miss, I did not. Well, why not? If you don't mind. I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale. And by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Oh. Well, I apologize if I seem to be frightened. You're a conniving whore. I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. Is that sarcasm? I will smack the face right off your skull. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. Oh, you did not. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. Well, see. Well, you know, like one thing that'll make me happy. <laughs> This is our first racing mission. Right, Which is, oh, hey, you cheater. I will push you down again, woman. I will blow your horse's head off. <laughs> Let's, oh, oh, oh. Right, we're not racing yet. Oh, I was about to get all bent out of shape. On the count of three. I think she cheats here. I can't remember. Two. Kinda, but I kind of jump too. So she says on the count of three, and then counts down from three. Country folk. Now this introduces the racing aspect, and every time you race, you're gonna have fires, as you can see right there. Now it doesn't matter if you win or lose this race; you know the story progresses the same. But um, the dialogue's the only difference. It's you know not a really big deal. But you gotta kind of follow the trail and make your way you to the, the best, um, fires and follow them while staying ahead of Mr. Far. And that's all fine because obviously we have the war horse. Even though she's kind of gaining on us, we have the war horse, so we are you know, genetically predetermined because of. The game of the year edition that we have an advantage here. However, there's still a prop. Like it's hard to see, probably. She just passed us pretty hard. Go. But on the left side of the mini map, it's your horse's stamina bar. And every time you tap A, a chunk of that bar goes down. And when it goes down too far, it turns red. And then when there's none left, but if you're still tapping A, your horse will kick you off. Or other words, buck you off. 
and uh, she'll clearly win because it takes time to get back on the horse. <laughs> the hobby horse, you know what I mean? But, um, see, like right there, it turned red, my horse let me know by screaming, by crying, I don't know, what, what do you call that? It starts with a W. Willing or something? Anyway, just periodically tap A. You don't have to, you know, hammer it down like a quick action moment in Resident Evil 4, but, uh, just, like, once a second. It's like, one Mississippi, one Mississippi, and just kind of just tap it, you know, you'll, you'll keep the bar at a, at a level, and, you know, with the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, balance? No, not balance, at stable. You keep it at a stable level while maximizing your horse's speed. Therefore, staying in front of Miss McFarlane. Let's see, this is the stretch right here, and she's kind of close, so we're going to tap out because the ending is right up here. I'm kind of taking a risk right now because I'm in the red, and this never happened before, but we still won. So congratulations, Mr. Marston. Be a good idea. You do whatever you think. Yeah. Hard to progress the story without doing that. Heck yeah. So that's about 15 minutes right there. I think I'm going to call it quits on this video. And I will see you guys in part 3. Thanks for watching. Peace.